The Giro d'Italia 2021 is just about to kick off. The Lantern Rouge Cycling Podcast Velo Games League, I think, is about to close. We've had about 2,800 submissions, breaking all records. I can't believe how many people have signed up. Locola are concerned. I'm afraid. There are some absolutely fantastic names here. TUE Emirates, Team BDSM, Amiga Pharma Clench, Thibaut Pinot's Goats. Thanks to everyone who signed up. And to be honest, a lot of your teams are really good. You sent them to me for a roast, but I think you're sending them to me because you think I'm gonna be nice about them because a lot of the teams, they're not even a joke team. But if you thought I was gonna go nice on your team just because you think it's pretty good, well, you're wrong. And at the end of this video, I'll show you my Velo Games team, which I put up on Instagram before. Just a reminder of the scoring system, there's like 220 points for a win that scales down by 20, down to six, you can read it all yourself. Most of you, from what I can see, didn't even look at the scoring system. And then you've got points for being in good position on daily general classification. I think that's important. I'll explain with my team later, as well as his assist points, Chima copy, etc. I don't really care. Let's get in to your teams. First one, Amphetamine Daydream. What is this? Eddie Merck's Nightmare. Amphetamine Tests. It's actually low-key, pretty good team. I just like the team name, to be honest. Bargain Hunt, more like Bargain Basement. Marc Soler, Galapan, Conti, Demarkey. I mean, Soler, A for chemistry, terrible. B, Galapan, Demarkey, Conti. Is this uh, a 2-1 race in 2015? Those guys are done. Conti, maybe not, but he's on domestique duties. Merlier, you're overrating him. I mean, didn't you have enough points to get Caleb Ewan with the other riders you've got in this team? Even if I don't mind, but man. Bogan Galha's GOAT team. Bernal, Buell, Lander, Stunt, oh, Ewan, Gana, looking pretty good. Formula, I like that too. Walter Ravisi, Bade. What were you thinking? Surely you could have picked up some people that are actually going to win some stages. Clueless Wallop 79, you must be pretty clueless. You picked the wrong Jumbo Visma sprinter. Now they're bringing Groenewegen. Sagan was your wildcard pick. Don't mind that. Molova looks like he's your main all-rounder. At least you got Avonapol in there, but Moschetti and Fabro, you're just, gonna, you're just not going to pick up enough points from stages or sprints. Team Cyclopaths, you accidentally picked three domestiques that aren't going to get any points or come high on stages. Maybe your mouse went all haywire and you picked Roger Kluger. He's a lead-out man for you. And do it for the memes. Again, a solid team. This isn't a meme team. That's why I'm roasting you. You should say this is a team I've taken pretty seriously. The Eager Beavers and the Early Birds. Four quick-step riders don't mind it. Actually, Champoussin and Guerrero, actually, this is actually a pretty good team. I'm just going to say the Groenewegen peak, you're probably going to DNF after 10 stages. Fabian, cancel culture. You pick Victor Campanats, the TT rider that doesn't do TTs anymore. Don't know how you couldn't have got Remy Cavagna in that spot. Benji's team now, Aaron Baru's minions. He's picked Separa, who's probably going to go for 12 on GC and not going to go for stages, nor a Mountains jersey. He won't get the white jersey either. Trotnik, uh, is he actually going to be able to go for another stage you might be able to Volta you pick him with your heart not your head Benji you're trying to do it for the memes and I like Attila but I doubt he's getting a stage at this point so this team ain't winning shit from Benji De Koenig, quick step or death I love it they've picked as many quick step riders as they can afford well actually they had 18 credits left but they picked the whole quick step team probably going to win the whole competition El Pumas del Chimborazo I love your team name but your team is terrible Got Pelo, Lafay, Colson's Car, Bardet. What do you, you have, surely, show me your credits. You didn't send me your credits. Surely you got 50 left. You didn't even pick the best two GC riders on Ineos. Buchmann's not going to win a stage. Sagat and Yates, maybe, but Jesus Christ, couldn't you get Mikel Honore or somewhere, someone in there as well? Maria Novolodskaya Fan Club. You put the name in just because you think it might be too hard for me to pronounce. I just dominated it. You got Vendrame and Bevan in there. You think because Bevan came third in a Tour de Romandie reduced bunch sprint last week. He's cleaning up as Euro stage, well, you're wrong. Maybe you're right, but I think you're wrong. But otherwise, your team's pretty good. The Italian job and Bernal and Sagan. You got Nibli and Valerio Conti in your team. Nibli's the first rider you picked. You're out of your goddamn mind. Ultimo Kilometro. You say you're from Belgium, Chris Run. You pick three quick step riders and you don't pick Remco Avonpour. Maybe you didn't see that the big dog Patrick Lefebvre's not happy with Almeida's manager asking for more money and Almeida might leave the team. What do you think that says about 
who's going to be riding for GC and who's going to be the protected rider for Quickstep at the Giro. By the way, I'm recording this before the TT. I can't show you that because it says where I actually live, but this is before the coverage of the Giro Stage 1 starts. Joe Tim's Freelandissimo, yeah, it's a pretty good team apart from Shampoo Saint. Uh, I don't really see what he's doing this year. Hearns Bonk Boys, my man thinks he's back in 2012. He's got Tony Gallopan in the team. I'm not sure if he's actually had the time outside of his corporate job in Melbourne to be watching cycling this year, but Tony Gallopan Galapan ain't winning anything. Sivakov as well. I mean, he's just going to be riding for Bernal. And even if Bernal gets injured, then it's Moss gone. Ganner and Narvaez time. Go fast or go home. This is from Mrs. Rouge, located in Andorra. Looking good so far. Avonapol, Bernal, Lander. I don't mind that. Maida, Sagan, Cavagna. Looking good. Campanarts, Cone Bowman, Arashiro. Arashiro. Is, is my career a joke? to her. Arashira, she could have had Mikel Honore. He's four points in the Velo Games League and she picks Arashira. One of the best team names ribbled for your pleasure, Shane Sutton's Viagra guy. It's actually a pretty good squad except again a lot of people put Moscon in their team I actually think Moscon isn't going to have that many stage winning opportunities because Bernal's back, if it does fail, might be later in the third week and then they'll already have finished the stages that Moscon would have been good at. I think Merlier is being overrated a little bit. Chicone, I've already mentioned before. Soler, I'm not going to criticise you, but um, is he is still Mark Soler and Vlasov as well. If he's there to win the stage, surely Yates and Co will be there as well. Next team, save the rim break from Joe. It's actually a pretty good squad. I just don't like Cepeda, Champoussin, and Albanese. I think you could have done a little bit better going for potential stage winners there. As I've already said, Cepeda, I think, is going to be uh, hamstrung by going for GC. Total indirect lethargy. They've also got the three quick step riders. They just forgot to put the right one in. No matter, you won't be winning. Tutti Frutti, Super Tuckers, Benedetti, Battistella, and Old Dani. I can't believe you've used up 100 credits when they're the three stage hunting candidates you've got. I mean, what, you're going to take the points for the assist points from Benedetti for Bookman's fourth on GC? Good luck with that strategy. Wadia Victorious, Fabro Sagan, Cepeda. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice squad. I just think you'd want Yates or even a pole in there as, you know, if one of those two really pop off. But now time for my team, so I can open myself up for your roast in the comments down below. The team is 10 litres of orange juice. The DS is Dr. Francesco Conconi. We've got Avonapol, Maida, Honore, Ghana, Formolo, Ewan, Cavagna, Yanks. We've got the best sprinter. We've got the best all-round rider in Avonapol. We've got probably the best mountain guy on his day, Simon Yates. We'll be taking three out of the top three positions in both of the time trials with Avonapol, Ghana, and Cavagna. Formolo, I think, is going to win a stage or two, and he's going to be up there in the top three in breaks in multiple stages. And I'm hoping what I need to happen is Molima to do well on stage hunting duties and ignore GC. I think he is going to do that. Mater I've got in there is my four-pointer, hoping he gets a stage and that Bilbao and Lander are in the top eight on GC and he gets assist points from that. Honoré as well, assist points with Avonpole probably winning this Giro d'Italia given what Patrick Lefebvre said today. But I hope you enjoyed this Rose video. It was before the Giro started. We'll see you with the Giro Stage 1 prologue or TT recap in about I don't know, a few hours after this airs. And I hope you enjoy this year at Italia. Thanks for joining the Velo Games Lantern Rouge Cycling Podcast League. A lot of you obviously want that LeCol kit. I want it too. And I'll be taking it home. So I guess enjoy the jersey, whoever comes second, because 10 litres of OJ is taking out the top step, even though they send me them for free. Ciao.